In 2017, esports is bigger than it has ever been. It will continue to grow as new games come into the esports scene, new teams come and play, and new prizes and new motivations come for players to take part. Games such as Dota and League of Legends have been in the esports scene for quite some time, getting up to millions and millions of dollars of prize funds. Games such as CSGO have been very fast rising in the esports scene. But then we have Mount and Blade. Mount and Blade is something that's always been played competitively as long as Warband has been a thing. It's never really been massive in terms of esports prize funds haven't been as big as all these other games we've seen and a lot of people don't take part in competitive play and a lot of people don't even know about it until now this is where i think mountain blade warband is going to get its biggest promotion yet to the wider audience we have the biggest event in competitive mountain blade history this is an event with a total prize pool of $10,000, which is bigger than any Mountain Blade game has ever seen. This is the Battle of Bucharest, Mountain Blade's first esports event. So what is the Battle of Bucharest and how will it work? There will be live finals to this that will be live streamed on various channels and it will put the best European Mount and Blade players together on May the 20th to compete for a prize pool of $10,000. Now Tail Worlds are actually supporting this as you would expect they do and they're hosting the servers at the PGL Studios in Bucharest, Romania. So, how has the tournament got this $10,000 prize pool, which is massive for a Mount and Blade game? They have been sponsored by Intel and G Core Labs. G Core Labs, I think, are a server hosting company, and Intel, of course, everyone knows who Intel are, which is amazing for such a small indie game with such humble beginnings, starting with the works and ideas of two people coming into this massive industry where we're having massive companies such as intel sponsoring events 20 players will be competing live in this live stream on the 20th of may they'll be playing in team mode and eight players will compete in a dual mode playing native in mount and blade warband in the competitive scene of mount and blade i honestly haven't really been into it much i have looked into it and i have made a couple of videos on it about how this tournament was coming up and how mountain blade competitive is actually something that a lot of people don't really know about but the competitive scene for mountain blade has thousands of players in it doing lots of tournaments making teams and supporting big events like this but this is as big as it has ever been and I think from here we can only go up in terms of the size and scale of Mountain Blade coming into the esports scene. We know that esports is actually coming into some of the mainstream media and mainstream spectator sports. They're even petitioning to try and get it into the Olympics. And if I'm going to be honest, I think we're getting there since we've already got it. I think it's into the Asia sports tournaments, but I'm not completely sure. Don't quote me on that one. But we are really getting to the point where esports is becoming a mainstream viewing sport. So total for the prize fund is $10,000. But how does this work out? So you have for the 5v5 team competition, you have three prizes, $750, $2,500 and $5,000 plus some special items in there. They've not really clarified what these special items are going to be. It's going to be very interesting to see what we can put in there. But that is the biggest prize that we have there, the $5,000. And in the dual competition, since of course it is only 1v1s, you're going to have a $250 prize pool, a $500 prize pool and of course an $1,000 prize pool in that as well so this is no small amount of money in terms of esports yes there are millions of dollar prize pools that you get in such games like csgo and dota and league of legends but for bout a blade a small upcoming indie game that has been on the rise over the past seven or eight years i'm very excited to see what does this mean for battle lord if this is a successful event, if we can get enough of you guys supporting this, watching the live stream and supporting your favourite teams, maybe we can push Mount and Blade, especially Bannerlord when it is released, into a more of a mainstream esports audience. So what do you guys think of this event? Are you excited? Are you going to watch it? If you want to see it, make sure you are following the Mountain Blade Twitch account. Make sure you like the Mountain Blade Facebook account. And of course, subscribe to the Tailwords YouTube. Because it will be live streamed on all three of them, I think, at the same time. That's what they're trying to do. 
if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. And I really want to hear your opinions on whether you think Mountain Blade is going to become a more mainstream esports or you think it's going to stay in a smaller community. In my opinion, I think it's really going to grow. As we have seen here, $10,000 is something we have never seen in the community before. But until then, guys, I will see you in the next one. <coughs>